the angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. We beseech you, Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross, may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass this evening. Welcome if you are participating via the internet. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with one another. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry out or shout aloud or make his voice heard in the streets. He does not break the crushed reed nor quench the wavering flame. Faithfully, he brings true justice. He will neither waver nor be crushed until true justice is established on earth, for the islands are awaiting his law. Thus says God the Lord, he who created the heavens and spread them out, who gave shape to the earth and what comes from it, who gave breath to its people and life to the creatures that move in it, I, the Lord, have called you to serve the cause of right. I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of the people and light of the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. The word of the Lord. 
The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my help. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Hail to you, our King. You alone have had compassion on our sins. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha waited on them, and Lazarus was among those at table. Mary brought in a pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus, wiping them with her hair. The house was full of the scent of the ointment. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, why wasn't this ointment sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, because he was a thief, he was in charge of the common fund and used to help himself to the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. She had to keep this scent for the day of my burial. You have the poor with you always. You will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large number of Jews heard that he was there and came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests decided to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The scene in today's Gospel reading is placed six days before the Jewish Feast of Passover, the time of Jesus' final journey, his passion and death. On that journey, he would be brutally treated by political and religious leaders and by their military forces. We are very aware at present of the brutal treatment of Ukrainian civilians by the political leaders of Russia and their military forces. In our gospel reading, however, Jesus is cared for in a very loving way by the family of Lazarus, Martha and Mary, in appreciation for Jesus restoring Lazarus to life. We're told that Martha waited on him, playing a leading role in serving him a meal in a way that seems to have been typical of her. Her sister Mary served Jesus in a different way, anointing his feet with very costly ointment and wiping them with her hair. It was an extravagant gesture that Judas, who was about to betray him, considered a waste of money that could have been better spent on the poor. Yet Jesus, 
recognizing the timeliness of Mary's extravagant gesture. It was an anointing to strengthen him for the difficult journey ahead. She had to keep this scent for the day of my burial. In the language of the first reading, there was something of the crushed reed and wavering flame about Jesus at this moment in his journey. And he deeply appreciated Mary's costly and loving gesture. Mary's gesture surely is being replicated at present in the costly and loving gestures towards so many of the crushed reeds and wavering flames resulting from the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Lord considers such loving gestures for those who have been rendered vulnerable. He considered, considers them as being done for him personally. Such costly and loving gestures are expressions of what today's responsorial psalm calls the Lord's goodness. Hopefully, such gestures will allow the victims of this brutal, heartless war to say in the words of today's psalm, though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear, though war break out against me, even then, even then would I trust. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have, this, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever, with humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you, Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, John the Evangelist, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 
I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Christ crucified draw you to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of your sins forgiven. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you to dwell deep within you this night and forevermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.